hi guys you're welcome to our channel so we are about entering the ninja bridge from onicha so we'll be doing a drive from um asaba to worry this uh morning as you can see we're currently already on the ninja bridge just to take you guys that yes we are crossing the ninja to the south so if you are new to our channel you are welcome to alin tv kindly do well to click the subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell so you will always get to know when we upload new videos and for returning subscribers thank you very 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 much we appreciate your love for our channel and also do not forget to give us your honest review in the comment section at the end of this video like you know now we are always on road trips so we always give you guys detailed updates of how a lot of roads looks within the south south southeast and in fact nigeria entirely so if you are planning any trip towards the southern region the eastern region just check our channel to see the current state of the road if you are not flying obviously and we've also given you guys quite a lot of updates regarding the airport within this axis the south 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 part and the southeast part the airport within this region so we've also give you guys a good update on that but if you plan to use road trips do not forget to check out our channel to see the current update of those roads so uh, this will be a road drive through from asaba to wari and we'll be taking you through kuala ugeli all of those Azoros, all of those villages across those parts will be taking you guys through to see the current changes what is up to is the road still very good is the road not very bad all the things you need to know within it so my delta people i'm in your city so we're currently already in asaba we've crossed the ninja bridge as you can see and for those who are yet to check on our channel you can just check it out for the second ninja bridge so that's why the bridge is looking a bit free now because a lot of persons dive out through the second ninja bridge for those going to port harcourt those going to Owere, those going to newi they just use the second ninja bridge so but we came in from the first ninja bridge and uh it's looking quite free because of that and the diversion somehow showed in our screen so you can check out our video on the second ninja bridge we did a drive through there just some few days ago so you can check that out so we are already at coca in asaba so this is coca flyover the ones that were that was commissioned before governor okowa left office so this is it guys this is coca flyover i think this should be the only flyover in uh, asaba yeah this should be the only flyover in asaba the coca flyover okay yeah they have another one around uh, coming from summit yes they have one this should be the two flyovers in asaba my bad so if there are more maybe people from asaba you can let me know in the comment section so if you have not also seen our drive through around the city of asaba you can also check our video catalog on delta state and you see a recent drive through around the city of asaba giving you guys all the updates even up to night life in the city so we'll be taking down the bridge now to ugeli Wari road so this is the flower the truth of the matter is that this flower really 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 helped as far as asaba is concerned this coca junction used to be a very serious mess but my concern is when we're driving down if you observe we had to use one lane road because the other lane is totally bad a portion of it is bad i really hope the current administration will fix that even some trailers have fallen around that part so just before the road safety office i think something needs to be done about that part of the road if not it's going to extend and before you know it gets towards the coca bridge so that needs to be checked so we are currently running on the uh, kuala Wari road now so still very much in the asaba axis of it so approaching um, we are heading towards the admiral university that was formerly um, the university for the repentant militants but now i think it's accessible by every citizens of nigeria so everybody can actually go to that school so if you are from delta state do not forget to wrap your location in the comment section let us know where you are from as far as delta state is concerned and if for adventure we pass through your community while on this drive also do let us know in the comment section that oh you just drove past my community or even if you pass through your house there are a lot of persons that are spotted on our videos that oh you drove past my house not too long ago so you can also let us know if we passed your house along that path so this part of the road towards um, 
um, the Admiral University exists is very good and uh, not until we do a dive action very soon. The road is very good, the dual lanes are working and it's looking pretty, pretty clean. And that's one beautiful thing about this part of the road. So the last time I used the road, I realized that they were working on it, but um, you still have to use a single lane at some point and all of that, some lanes are dual lanes. So we're going to be checking all of those and seeing how far those construction work has gone. I think they said it was um, NCDC that was handling the project as at that time. So let's hope that uh, a lot of work has been put in and uh, a lot of work has been done will get to that axis so that is it so for my people of delta states what do you what are you thinking of the current administration i think they are spending some days already in office uh the new administration i think uh, governor sheriff is the the new governor of delta state so are you guys feeling his impact and i just saw a publication not too long that he's flagging off about four flyovers in worry so i think that would be interesting to see why those projects commences so yeah, this is where we do the dive action now into the Ugeli Wari Road proper. So I think it's from here the construction work has been on. So but we'll be getting all of those updates where we we'll get to Azoro, get to Ugeli, get to Kuala. All of those updates we'll be bringing to you. But as you can see around this part now, we are still using our dual lane, still looking all clean and good. Uh, there were some portions at the front of it that was looking bad, so but we're going to see that pretty soon. I don't know why this guy is driving on one lane. Maybe <laughs> something is happening at the other side of the road. So we'll just keep it going and seeing how the road update is. I think one thing about the Delta State um, from the previous administration, I think a lot of work was done on the road by the previous administration uh, in Asaba precisely and some part of um, Kuala and uh, Agbo Agzi. So a lot of road construction was done. And I think literally almost all streets in Asaba currently are tied by the old administration. That is the governor of Kowa's administration. I think that is highly commendable because um Delta State seems to have uh, Asaba precisely seems to have some very, very, very good roads within town. So our eyes is currently on the new administration to see what uh, they are going to do in regards to road construction in um Delta State. Yeah, you know, Naya has already flagged off four flyovers in um, in Worry. So we are hopeful that, uh, let's see how the construction work goes. So we are open for that. So people of Worry, what are your thoughts on the four flyovers and what are the locations? Because I looked through the uh, the picture that was circulated on Twitter. I didn't really get to see locations where the flyovers will be constructed in Worry. So I'm really looking forward to that. So if you have that update, you can also do let us know. So I'm really anticipating that. And um, even the flavor they have in worry currently, I think it's not really serving so much. So I think those of those things should be put into consideration. That's the flavor from uh, ShopRite Axis to Benin. So people really use that flavor. Every, a lot of persons still use underneath it. So probably that flavor would have been constructed PTI to um, the other lane instead of the cross that he did, or probably even a C-shape uh, flyover so to say so that it's just get out for everybody but i don't know so there's still a lot of traffic in um that flower leading to benin in war especially when it is raining it's super super crazy so i try as much as i can to always avoid that axis when i'm coming from pti because the traffic down there is crazy and all of those trailers the tankers everybody are still using underneath the part that part so it's crazy kind of so so you can see this is um, the other lane has been abandoned looking clean in some parts some parts is bad so we are currently riding on this clean one going to Kuala, and it's a smooth drive all the way from here to Kuala. and um, i don't really know if you have the update you can also do let us know in the comment section from Kuala to uh obiaroku i don't know how clean that road is because we are currently planning a, another trip to delta that will take us to to abraka so we don't really know the road to use we land the agba abraka road is bad so just give us an update if you have any info regarding that road as you can see uh the good part of this road has stopped so we have to turn back the other lane so that's how we've just been jumping so the construction work is not entirely completed on this route so if you are planning to travel but at least it is motorable it is fair to drive on understand so you have to jump to this lane the last time i came i think that part now we even continued straight like that i don't know why 
um the goalie is cutting that part off already so i think something needs to be done about it and all of this um road being constructed here i'm not actually seeing a drainage system attached to them so uh, i think um it should be looked into you know if not the rains will just keep messing the thing up you see that we just drove a little distance and we're diverting back again to our lane proper so let's keep it going let's keep it going guys like i said if you have an update for the road leading from uh from kuala to biaroko the novena university down to abraka if you have an update on that road i would really appreciate an update on it and i learned the uh, Abu Abraka road is totally bad so i'm just thinking what which is the best route to get into abraka from uh from Asaba. So if you have a good update for me so that I don't have to go and turn around getting to Ugeli before navigating back to Abraka. So if you have an update, just let me know if the Kuala Road is good. I would really, really appreciate. Just let us know in the comment section. And um, I believe the people of Agbo should be happy now because the, the, the road that was done for them by the first admission is still speaking. Yeah, my last visit to Agbo all the roads you're looking clean and uh, some of your traffic lights you're walking it's just your bikes around that is usually scary to me whenever i'm in that town there are so much and one has to be extremely careful when driving uh in a city that has a bike just like quale that we are in now so this is quale so if you are from uh, quale do well to wrap your location in the comment section and uh, we're happy to visit your town it's looking um, booming you know Kuala is one of the major uh, towns in delta state as far as delta state is concerned Kuala is one of the major towns in delta state it's looking all good and looking uh, busy as well so we'll just be passing through Kuala pretty soon and taking it down to ozoro let's see how the ozoro axis is the last visit i made i know the ozoro axis they were doing some road construction close to the school gates let's hope that by now it should have been completed yeah i believe it should have been completed because some works are going on and that's um, the polytechnic has been changed to um university so i believe that work should be completed by now so we'll be getting there pretty soon for us to see all of those updates and also if you have seen the video we are coming to worry so give me recommendation where i can eat good uh starch and banga soup i'm really looking forward to eating whenever i visit any city i'm keen at eating local delicacies i'm not in for rice i'm not in for beans i really want to taste a lot of local delicacies and it's been a while i i ate starch you know and for those who don't know i actually graduated from delta state university abraka so I'm more or less like a son of the soil, you know, before a lot of stuff took us to the east. So this is my region, you know, so I really, I would really love to eat starch and banga soup again. It's been a very, very, very long time. The ones we prepare in uh, the east, is not like the banga soup in, in the other states. So let me experience the banga soup in the other state again before I take my leave. So give me your recommendations. Oh, I know AJ in Airport Road. I know a lot of people want to say AJ, but give me some local spot that you know that that mama can just put it inside a native pot and this team will be looking all good for me. So we are already in Kuala, in um, Ozoro right now. So you can see that the road by the campus has been done. So the road drive from Kuala to Ozoro is pretty clean no issues at all so that is the school gate over there so this road is newly constructed and i hope it is completed to the down part of this road because i remember my last visit to have to divert again and divert again to the two diversions before we finally left um ozoro axis towards the roundabout taking us to Oli. so let's hope that this part that has been done now has been totally totally completed to the end of the road so this is the school gate for students in ozoro you can wrap in the comment section let me know how you're faring as far as ozoro is concerned hope the town is treating you guys very 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 well so if you are still seeing our video and you are not yet a subscriber please do well to hit the subscribe button get us to fifteen thousand subscribers so you always know we upload new videos you know and for returning subscribers thank you very much we do appreciate so we thought the road would continue at this point but we realized the construction work ended there so we had to turn you know so we didn't know for those who 
knows the drill everybody was just turning so for us we didn't know so we had to drive to that point made a turn and we joined back the single lane road so i don't really know what is taking them so long to complete this part of the road you know the last time i came like i mentioned the, the school area was still under construction okay that part has been done so but what is really keeping uh the other the other parts from being done so i was already driving on this rail lane where i realized the other one too is good now i was supposed to divert at the other point but i did not divert like i saw the car ahead of me also going on this lane so we just had to continue like that there was nowhere else we could join the other lane so we had to continue driving like this and to my greatest surprise i can say see that the car ahead of me is already giving traffic to is tra traffic trafficator is already on i think he's diverting out of the road so we had to continue on this lane i also saw some trucks over there still working on this part so but let's hope that upon our return some good work must have been done that's if i return through this part again you know so but let's keep it going this is Ozoro. it's still very very much busy and the school they i think they are on session so a lot of activities um still going on around the school the school as this i think this is one city in um in a, in delta state i have not really spent the night i think i've spent the night quite in uh, some good cities in delta state i've been to ogara spent the night in ogara spent the night in Ole, you know and all of that but ozoro i don't know some nothing has actually brought me to stay in ozoro overnight so if you have any interesting thing within this axis you would like me to capture or film just do it to let me know so at least i can experience ozoro at night and know how the city looks at night so we're open for that video recommendation so my pull from ozoro if you are watching this and if you have what it takes to make me spend the night in your city or in your town do well to drop that for me in the comment section i'll be looking forward forward to that so azora is the road is you know i will give it a 75 because of that portion that we have to turn back for i'll give the road a 75 around here so let's hope uh, it will be completed pretty 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 soon and um i hope the town is still pretty safe as it used to be though i heard of an incident that happened uh some weeks back before this my trip so i hope the town is safe now for everybody to stay uh, so just let me also know in the comments in the comment section so this is the end of the road this spot has been bad for a very very long time the spot has remained like that for a very very long time and um, nothing has been done about it so but no issues we we'll keep it going so now we'll be joining the we'll be approaching the uh, what was it called? The roundabout in uh, leading to Ole. Now we are heading to Wari. So after the roundabout leading to Ole, there was an incident there. So a lot of police presence, a lot of um, soldier presence are there. So you can't really video them very well. So but we have to join this lane now going to Ogeli. So and this Ogeli road this construction work for the dualization of this road has also been on for a very long time and this one we are riding on now it's not as if it's pretty cool at some point you have to really manage and you can see this trailer ahead of me now literally cover the whole space you know on this lane so the other lane i don't really know what is keeping that work i don't really know what is keeping the work but that construction work has been on i think um i'll be shuttling these roads i shuttled it very well 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 i think in 2019 literally every week i was using that road so and uh, no much difference till now so i'm quite uh, surprised that nothing much has actually been done on that dualization part but this part of the road the dualization work is going on well and so now you can see that we have to join our own lane and the dualization work is yeah so from here you have a dual drive till you get to ugeli so we'll be busting out at ugeli very soon so let's um, see a view of how ugeli is so if you are from ugeli as well do what to wrap your location i really flex your town like you know i've 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 stayed in ugeli you know i enjoyed your town very well when i was frequently visiting in 2018 2019 
and even part of 2020 it was quite an interesting stay so at this point it was about to rain i was like oh this rain does not want me to complete this video so i was actually praying in my heart that the rain should stop but uh, god helped us and the rain stopped so this is still the construction work going on along the uh, Ozoro um, Ugeli Road. And uh, you can see that the drainage system are still under construction. Some part has been done, some part has not been done, but the road has been constructed. So I think those are some of the construction uh, errors that usually happen in most of this road construction. I think we experienced that uh, between Enugu and the uh, Oka border where the road was already done before the drainage system started and when the drainage was done it was higher than the road and they had to start scraping all over again so welcome to ugeli my people this is ugeli so guys we'll be doing a quick drive now to worry from ugeli the rain is still disturbing very 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 well so we just have to be managing our wipe a little video a little and we just kept it going like that like i said Ugeli is an interesting um interesting town to stay i think i would really love to visit again i enjoyed myself way back when i was still frequenting the city so i think i would still love to visit again so the rain was really really bad at this point so sorry you can't really see much uh but Ugeli town is looking beautiful i'm really people you can share your beautiful side uh, to our viewers who have not visited Ugeli before and this road we are currently uh, on now you know from Ugeli you can go straight to to Port Harcourt you know through Bayesa and all of that so it's a straight road from uh, Ugeli so once you are coming from Wari to Ugeli it's a straight drive down you just take it straight to um, to Port Harcourt Bayesa so interestingly so let's go to um, Wari now let's see the city of worry and anticipate our video as well we're going to be giving you up the update regarding worry what has changed what are the new addictions in the city of worry and like i said if you have an idea of where they are going to be constructing the four flyovers they are going to be doing in worry do let us know in the comment section so at least let's go and spy those areas and see if it's even worth the construction around there like i said earlier in this video that the work the flyover in worry the one taking us to Benin. i think that flyover is not really serving its purpose because the traffic around that part is still very 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 crazy so i just hope that whoever is in charge i think it's julius Berger. obviously is giving it to so i trust their judgment in regards to reading the traffic uh, uh situation before situating the flyover so i think that was really really good but then let me just give you a guess my pull of delta i'm not saying i'm not working with the governor but a guess i think one flyover will be taking us to there will be a flyover around pti um i'm like i'm looking at that area because of the traffic around that area they even had to barricade the crossing and everything that's happening around there to pti to uh, what was it called pti that road leading to abraka i uh, wasn't with that community yeah so that area i think i'm looking at something being done over there because of the traffic within that axis so but let's fold our hands and watch or let's cross our legs and watch or cross our hand and watch and see how things unfold so the rain has stopped now still driving before you know we'll get to worry pretty 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 soon as you can see, we are already approaching worry. The last time I came, people said this place is no worry. This is, uh, I call it DSC roundabout. So people said it's no worry. So what well, this is worry. Welcome to worry. So now I want to take the drive a little forward so that you people can see I arrived worry. So if you have stayed with us and you are not yet a subscriber, please do well to click the subscribe button. Also turn on notification bell so you always know we upload new videos. And for the 20 subscribers, thank you very much for staying with me on this long drive from Asaba to worry. We really do appreciate you for staying with us. And do not forget to like, share, and also give us your honest review in the comment section about this. This video so we just left that uh dsc roundabout taking it down to pti now and from there we'll still take it down a little so that all of you can confirm that i stopped my video in worry the last one i did i said i did not enter worry before i stopped the video so now i will pass pti take it down to roundabout that is the flyover leading to be to end this video so you guys will be sure that yes i ended this video so 
keep watching till we get to the end <laughs> of the road but yeah i'm excited to visit worry i'm excited to come to worry so like i said i'm open for your recommendation on what to eat restaurants to visit just give me an idea so i can enjoy my stay in worry and for i enjoy staying in a refinery road so if you have a better recommendation for me of where to lodge i'm also very much open for that but i really i i think i'm very com- com- comfortable around the um, refinery road so give me your own recommendations as well if you have a better um, recommendation for me but worry is looking yeah quite clean quite clean quite clean all the trees are grown uh but i can see a lot of grasses around the trees so i think a little maintenance around those grasses will be appreciated uh from the current administration but the trees growing you know i'm a huge fan of cities looking all green and looking calm looking cool i'm a huge fan of it so the trees are growing so let us also encourage the trees to grow by just clearing those little grasses around them so they can have some fresh air to grow proper so guys this is the road trip from asaba to worry i hope this update will be helpful to as many of you that intend to use this road in any time anytime soon i hope it will be very 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 helpful so do let us know in the comment section as well how helpful this video is to you so thank you very much guys i appreciate you for staying with me on this ride thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much and i'm honestly looking forward to your comment in the comment section as you can see ahead of me now this is the flyover taking us to benin so we really appreciate you staying with us thank you very much guys we'll catch you guys in our next video thank you bye